Okay, so yesterday we did an equation, right? So today we're looking again how to find that that B value and that A value off of a graph. So the first thing we're given is this guy right here. So the graph shows the growth of the garter snake population. Okay. So we got some points on the graph, right, at 2, 3, and 4. So what I want you to take a few minutes on is question number 1, where it says find the snake population for 2, 3, and 4 years. So we're going to give you guys about, I don't know, 3, 4, 5 minutes, somewhere in there, and see if you can use those points and uh, figure out what's the actual number for years 2, 3, and 4, and then we'll come back and see how you did. All right? All right, so what'd you come up with? First of all, what are what are these increments? If this is 100, these have to be 25s, right? So year two is how many snakes? 25 snakes, good. And then year three is 125, good. And then year four, 625. All right, so you can see it shoots up. So... We can even help ourselves. Let's label these three points. So this is this is four and six twenty-five. This is three and one twenty-five. And this is two and twenty-five. Okay. Alright, so now it says use the pattern in your answers from part one to estimate the population in year one. Explain your reasoning. So if, if, if this is if we're going from 25 to 125 to 625 what's our pattern here or I should say what is our growth factor our growth factor is 5 right because 25 times 5 is 125 125 times 5 is 625 right so if our growth factor is 5 what should what what should our population be year one then? How do you find that? What are you gonna do? Divide, divide twenty five by five, right? We have to go backwards. So if you take twenty five and divide it by five, you get five snakes. All right. So again, I want you to take another three three four minutes with your group. I want you to try to find the y-intercept and explain to me how you got it. So you can't kind of see it on your graph, but there's a spot on here where this touches the, the y-axis, and it's not at 0, 0. So I'm going to see if you guys can try to find now basically at year 0, right? Because now we're at year 1. I'll put a little dot here, right? Blake said that was 5, so that's, this should be 1, 5. So let's see what you find on... Basically, at the beginning of this experiment, what's the y-intercept of this graph? We'll give you guys about three minutes or so to find that out, and then we'll see how you did. All right, what did you guys find for the y-intercept? Blake, how did you find that? So you continue to work backwards, right? So he took the previous one, right? Year one, it was five stakes. So he took five and divided it by... 5 to get 1. So the y-intercept, so at the very beginning of this, there was one snake. So back up at, uh, at our graph, the other missing point, this guy here is 0, 1. So you can see how it moves. So again, explain how to find the growth factor for the population. That's the first question on the back side. Well, again, how do we find the growth factor? If the x's are going up by 1's, right, we look for the change in y. And the change in y is, right, times 5. So, 5 is the growth factor. Um, Plus y is multiplied by 5 as x increases. That's our constant rate. Not rate of change. Don't get that mixed up. All right. So 
Here's what I want you guys to do. This might take a few more minutes. With the information we got, I want to see if you can come up with an equation, okay, from the graph. So T is going to be time in years, right? That's our independent variable. P is the population. So this is kind of our Y, and that's kind of our X. So if you think about it that way, all right? So I want you to come up with that equation, and then, of course, explain to me what those numbers mean, okay? Explain to me what those numbers mean. So this might take a few minutes. This may take five or a little bit more. But as the group, I want you to talk about it. Remember, what's the general form? Okay. So use that general form, and let's see what you come up with. All right. What would you come up with? What? Sheridan. So D for, or P, right? Yeah, so P is our population. All right, 1 times 5, and to the size of the X power, we're going to say to the T, right? Now, there's another way we can write this. What other way can we write this? It's meaning the same thing. Right, you could write it like this also. Because, why? What did we say? What was the kind of that little rule? Why can we just get rid of the 1? What did we say about that before? Yeah, it doesn't change anything, right? When that A is 1, you don't necessarily need to write it, just like we don't write 1 in front of a variable, right? Okay? So that's our equation. So whether we want or not, this is our what? That's our initial population, right? We start with one snake. And 5 is our growth factor. And we already know what P and T is, right? P is our total population, and T is our time in years, okay? All right, so in what year is the population likely to reach 1,500 snakes? All right, if you didn't figure this out, we're going to give you guys a few minutes to figure it out. In what year does, is the population likely to reach 1,500 snakes? And obviously, it's got to be bigger than 4 because at 4, it was what? 625. So again, if you want to put that in your table, however you want to do it on your calculator, we'll see if we can find the answer out from there. So take a few minutes. We're going to pause again. So let's see what your findings were. So we knew that when we put a 4 in for the years, that was 125 snakes, right? What happens when we go to five years? How much is that? Anyone figure that out? 3,100 what? 25. Right? So where does this number fall? Because obviously that's too big. Where does this number fall between the two? Did you say between four and five years? Yes. Which year is it closer to? Yeah, year four. So... You know, maybe it's a few months in. You can go and figure out the decimal. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be a little ways in. Um, maybe a little less than halfway. Because if you double 1,500, right, that's 3,000. That's still not. So maybe it's a little less than six months into that fourth year. Oh, 625. You're right. 625. So... We're going to say between four and five years. But we got to understand, obviously, it's not even to the halfway point. Okay? And we are not going to do E. So, we're going to stop.